I am Nathan Heck, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Texas. In the last few months, unaccompanied children from Central America have been streaming across our country's southwestern border in record numbers. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security reports that the total from last October through June is 57,525, more than twice the number during the same period the year before. Along the Rio Grande, the rate of such crossings by unaccompanied children is nearly three times that of the year before. Media reports, videos, and commentators on this phenomenon have stirred deep, strong reactions among Americans throughout the country. In the most recent Gallup poll, concern over immigration and illegal entries has risen overnight to become, in the minds of a plurality of Americans, the most important issue the country faces. For Texans, the concerns are on our very doorstep. Many people believe the flow across the border must be stopped, and Governor Perry has taken bold steps to do that. Others disagree. The courts cannot take sides in the dramatic political, social, and humanitarian aspects of the crisis. Our job is to guarantee that the laws will be applied equally, fairly, and efficiently to all alike. The system works best when everyone has a lawyer. Unfortunately, many whose need is greatest cannot afford legal fees. For decades, the Supreme Court of Texas has worked hard to encourage Texas lawyers to represent pro bono for free those who cannot afford to pay and to secure support for legal aid providers who offer basic civil legal services to the poor. Every year, Texas lawyers give millions of hours in free time worth hundreds of millions of dollars to provide civil legal services to Texas' most vulnerable people. Every year, legal aid providers help more than 100,000 families. The beneficiaries are our veterans, the elderly, children, and many others. For lawyers, this is not charity or a government program. It's professionalism. It's being a lawyer. Until recently, Texas courts have assumed that most of the legal issues for these unaccompanied children would be addressed in the federal courts. Now we find that many cases will be heard in state courts first. Our hardworking state courts are already very busy. The burden of many additional cases may be too much without additional resources. Pro bono lawyers' assistance in assuring that every child's rights are understood and fairly determined not only benefits their clients, but eases the burden on the courts and the public. This course on the rights and duties of children and the government here at Houston Community College is designed to help provide you as legal and law enforcement professionals with the skills and direction to assist in the problem that confronts us now. I am grateful to you for your time and interest. And as Chief Justice, I am proud to lead a bar that is so dedicated to professionalism. I hope that your involvement in the problem before us will inspire you to continue pro bono representation throughout your careers. May your efforts go far in upholding the integrity of the rule of law and ensuring, in the closing words of the Pledge of Allegiance, justice for all.